Brandon Dixon, congratulations. Six and zero tonight in Nottingham. Six rounds in the bank as well. How do you assess the fight and your own performance this evening? Uh, Anne's having a go at me, so I'm going to have to be more a bit more positive about <laughs> it. But I feel like it just takes me a while to get into it, and I just thought I was rushing it, and I thought, oh, I've got hurt, and then I was like. Well, just try and land this backhand and then I'll just like, fuck's sake, what are you doing? But, <laughs> <laughs> Very honest opinion. At yeah, least. <laughs> and then, like, my nose, my nose, <laughs> like, my nose is like, it just fucking breaks all the time. I was like, I got snotty nose on camera and I was like, oh, that's so ugly. But yeah. Part of the game, of course. Yeah, yeah, and then I put her and then, but whatever, it's all learning and then I'll just go in the gym and I'll be fucking like Mike Tyson in the gym looking in and then I come and fight and I like fucking butter bean, but. <laughs> it all, all come with experience, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, Adina Kiss, very tough heading into this fight, only stopped in good company. I believe Amanda Serrano twice, Michaela Mayer as well. Did you always believe it, it probably would go the, the full six this evening? I'm not gonna lie, no, I actually had a premonition that I thought I was gonna stop her, but I am obviously a liar. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, um, I think it's just all learning. Like I could hear Anke was like, get your fucking feet in. Well, he wasn't swearing, but he's like, get your feet in. And I was like, oh shit, yeah, I'm, I'm punching from out here. But um, yeah, no, it's all learning. And I think I'll just do more rounds. I'll just say, and stick the air guard on on one day and we'll start sparring. <laughs> Is it exciting for you, Rianne? And like, well, you're clearly growing in confidence in front of the camera. I remember <laughs> off, when we first caught up, I think it was last October, would have been in Liverpool on the, on the Smith Fowler card. You were a little bit timid, certainly compared to how you are now. Obviously yeah. you've just got out of the ring, so adrenaline's pumping, but. You're excited that there's so much more to come and you're getting a bit used to it now? Yeah, definitely. I feel like with every fight, I'm just like getting more comfortable. Like I was a bit like a deer in headlights at like Liverpool and Manchester. And I feel like, because I know everyone now and I'm more comfortable, I feel like I'll just start getting better and better. I mean, fucking hell, I need to get better than that. So. <laughs> well, you were an action earlier on this year, of course, in Spain. You said you learned a lot from that. You've been out again this evening. Obviously, for those who don't know, you know, you had your boxing career was, was put on hold. You're working in the COVID wards in hospitals. You still work in a pharmacy day to day. So is it important now that you're starting to build a bit more activity, a bit more routine? Yeah, definitely. And it, that's why, you know, like, like me, you know, with Paul is so important because he's got a plan for me and he wants to keep me as active. All those fighters are so active. And he just puts all of his effort into him. And I think, you know, I've got such an amazing team around me now. Like, I can't. I can't not do well. Um, you know, they're all putting all their effort into me, so I need to give it 100% now. COVID's like, you know, all that's gone on. I've done my part with the NHS working on the ward, so I need to, you know, put a bit more into me and on my boxing career now. Ant was saying, well, you were just saying rather that Ant's been a bit hard on you. That's obviously just because he demands the best from you, but he's been so impressed. You should hear what he says when you're not listening, Rhiannon, because he speaks so fondly of you. Telling us how you and Ant met through somewhat of a twist of fate, but here you are today. How important is your relationship in and out of the gym? Oh, like when I first met him, I was actually starstruck by him. I say this all the time and like I was dead shy around him, but now I'm not asked. Like he's like an annoying older brother. He's literally like a five year old. I didn't realize. You, like, you know, when you meet him, you think, oh, he must be well put together and like knows what he's doing, but. <laughs> Let's bring him in. in come on, Ant, yeah. here you come. Yeah, I'm not bitching about him, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Yeah. And no. how do you assess that, mate, tonight? I was really happy with it. Honestly, I genuinely was. She, you just said that, Ned, in a kiss. She, um, she's been in my world, you know, she's challenged for world titles. She's been in my world champions. And she is so harsh on herself. And everyone was saying, everyone's been impressed by her. And I think there was a few times in there where she nearly got her out there, which, yeah, it would have been a great statement. But the six rounds was good. And I say it all the time. Rhiannon, she had no amateur experience. She's had seven white collar fights and you so her fights in nightclubs she's fought in nightclubs if she's not actually fighting in nightclubs <laughs> she's not, careful not, yeah not like <laughs> that don't but incriminate yourselves here yeah <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so it's um it's that's for that kind of you know early on in a career to beat an opponent like that you know it's impressive and she's she done it very comfortable um she's got to keep improving she's a great you know she's great to train and there's like i say i think she's just very harsh on herself like I think she wants that KO really bad. But Rhiannon hits very, very hard. Anyone who's in with her will tell that. So that's great. The KOs will come, but I was really impressed with her tonight. And then you know as a fighter, certainly at this stage of your career, how important that activity is. You do what you're learning under the lights, of course, as well as the gym. Will you be speaking to Eddie about maybe trying to squeeze one more in before the end of the year? Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the plan, you know. Um, I manager Paul already. He's, he's got it set out. And we're looking to be out again for sure before the end of the year. I think that's so important because I mentioned it earlier. You know, she boxed in Bilbao. In that and then before that it was in May and then it was, she was in December but before that she'd not boxed well you boxed early in the September but I mean, you're not I'm boxed not for a few sure. years you had the operation she was out for months so it's just activity so that's why I think even more so the way she went about that job then I thought was really impressive question for you here Rianne and great time to be an up and coming female fight a big fight 
in tonight's chief support. Uh, just break that down for us. How do you see that one going? I'm so excited for it. Like I went, we're, me and Hannah Rankin yeah. were getting on stage at the same time, and I was like trying to steal a belt, trying to get a picture of her. <laughs> and she wasn't looking. But sharing changing rooms now. She's yeah, gonna be yeah, there you I'm go. Gonna take some pictures with her, <laughs> pretending the mind. But um, no, I'm really excited for it. I don't know which way it's gonna go because obviously Terry's going up. What for? Weight yeah. yeah, yeah, three divisions. weights, yeah. Yeah, and she's... 24 you know, pound heavier from her last fight, so... I can't imagine that's why I'm going to come in next yeah. <laughs> Would you like to see the winner? Yeah, fight your friend, that. Natasha Jonas, someone you've shared many rounds That'd with as well? That would be a very, very, very good fight. Yeah, you it know, would be a great fight. You know, obviously the history with Terry and then, you know, with Hannah, it'll be a, like one of them super fights for girls, but no, I'm looking forward to it. Gonna go home, get changed, look a bit prettier. Come back, people will notice me then. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff, Rhiannon, and thanks for your time. Rhiannon, congratulations, enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, we look forward to seeing you both back very soon. Oh, thank, thank you. you Great stuff. You.